all dear students so in continuation to our topic that is antimicrobials so today we will be discussing about a new topic that is protein synthesis inhibitors so basically these are antimicrobials whose main mechanism of action is to inhibit protein synthesis of the bacteria now first of all we shall discuss how proteins are synthesized in bacteria and then we will discuss how antimicrobial can inhibit the protein synthesis now for protein synthesis message is brought by mrna that's why the name messenger now these mrna they contains codons complementary to which the amino acid will be placed in the proteins now over this mrna two subunits of ribosomes that is a larger subunit and a smaller subunits will be attached now in case of humans this a larger subunits is 60s and the smaller subunit is 40s whereas in case of bacteria the larger subunit is 50s and the smaller subunit is 30s now when the ribosomes are attached now there is creation of two sites on the mrna these are p site and a site p means peptidyl site and a means acceptor site now amino acid chain which is already present is attached to the p site and the new amino acid will attach to a site so suppose already we have got three amino acid they will be attached to p site and the new amino acid will be attached to a site now this new amino acid is brought by trna that is transfer rna so transfer rna which contains anti codon complementary to the codon on mrna only one particular trna will come it will carry one particular amino acid so transfer rna brings a new amino acid and it will get attached to a site after the trna attaches now there will be formation of a peptide bond between these two amino acid okay so this is formation of peptide bond now peptide bond forms now all the amino acid from p site will dissociate and it goes to a site so what happens is now this p site and a site is created and all the amino acid has gone to a site but we know that the trna it attaches only to a site but now a site is not free so we want to make a site free so what happens is this ribosome it will move forward okay so when the ribosome move forward the next site is exposed so this site will become p site now and the new site will become a site so basically all of these are shifted back to p site so when the ribosomes move all of these are shifted to p site and a site becomes free and this step is basically known as translocation okay so what happens over here translocation occurs and all the amino acid are shifted to p site so basically a site becomes free so next what happens next a new trna comes and it will come and attach to a site and in this manner the protein synthesis continues so if a drug can inhibit any of these step it can be used as antimicrobial drugs so next we shall check out the mechanism by which the drug can work okay 